This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Our friends at the Sternberg Museum have a wonderful exhibit, the Prairie Ocean Long Time No See. It opened just this past weekend with our friend Chuck Bonner. He's our neighbor uh, just south of Oakley and his friend Ray Troll and they have a remarkable collection of fossils and artwork and this I think will be on exhibit through May and of course any time is a great time to go to the Sternberg but especially now. Let's take a look. Some of the most unique fossil finds have been made in Kansas and the Sternberg Museum of Natural History in Hayes has long been a monument to those discoveries and the scientists who made them. A new exhibit at the Sternberg combines the passion of those scientists with art, capturing the spirit of adventure that characterized them. The Prairie Ocean, long time no see, created by Chuck Bonner and Ray Troll, highlights stories of the Bonner family and their family legacy as fossil hunters. The exhibit also focuses on Kansas and its natural history, featuring a variety of Chuck and Ray's artwork and fossils found here in Kansas. Chuck is a Kansas native, born and raised in the central and western parts of the state. His passion for art and fossil hunting was inherited from his parents. Chuck attended Fort Hayes State, where he received a bachelor's degree in art and a master's degree in painting. His art has been featured all over central and western Kansas, including murals at Fort Hayes State and the Ellis County Historical Museum. Chuck and his wife, Barbara Shelton, currently operate the Keystone Gallery near Oakley, which is a combination art gallery, fossil museum, and gift shop. For more information about Chuck, the Keystone Gallery, and his artwork, visit his website at keystonegallery.com. Ray Troll is known for his unique style of blending art and science, drawing his inspiration from extensive fieldwork and the latest scientific discoveries. Ray earned a Bachelor of Arts degree from Bethany College in Lindsborg and a Master's degree in Studio Arts from Washington State University. After he graduated, he moved to Ketchikan, Alaska. From there, his artwork grew in popularity, eventually earning him an honorary doctorate in fine arts from the University of Alaska Southeast. Ray's art has been featured in museums, books, and magazines. For more about Ray Troll, his artwork, and his exhibits, visit his website at trollart.com. The exhibit will be up until May. Make sure you tell them that Around Kansas sent you and make some time to spend in their terrific gift shop. Then head west to Chuck and Barb's Keystone Gallery. Then make plans to visit the other museums boasting unique fossils. Better set aside a whole week. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. 